Hello world, welcome back to another daily game dev video. My name is Tim Rosberg, I'm the developer of a game called Battle Barn Tactics, which I'm currently working on. But as I'm working on it, one of the things that I'm trying to think about and 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 worry about is the UI and specifically uh, color blindness. And I've been working on the UI a lot recently. I've been messing around with how things work. And uh, a couple people in chat have like mentioned that the colors that I use, they might not, you know, uh, work well with people that have color blindness or it may be kind of hard to see. So uh, somebody in Twitch chat brought up this tool called color-blindness.com. Uh, and I want to show it with you, show it to y'all because it's, it's really, really useful. And I've never seen anything like this. So here's the basic tool. Uh, it's not the prettiest tool, but it, it will work. So you choose a file and you pick a screenshot. So I'm going to pull my screenshot. And this is the actual screenshot of my UI that I'm looking at. And then you can go through all these colorblind modes and make sure uh, that your image is is visible and that things are discernible uh, in the different uh, colorblind modes. And I thought this was really, really cool because now I have a tool to actually see the contrast that my, uh, that my UI and my images and stuff are are showing. And I can tell if, if people with colorblindness are going to be able to identify stuff. So as you can see, the, we got a couple things going on here. I'm using, I'm using green, obviously, to show that you can target places, but I'm also using these black outlines and these little corners. And it seems like that was a really, really good idea because it's even, even in almost the uh, monochromatic view, it's, you can kind of tell which tiles are highlighted. I have not tried this image, though, and this is the newer one with the orange. Uh, the orange might be a little, little weird. Let's go through the modes and see. Uh, but I thought this was really, really interesting because I've always had to guess. <laughs> like, I never realized there was tools like this where you could, like, actually go through and see. So this is the active target. This is uh, a target that it doesn't exist. And, the, and I'm still messing with the UI and stuff. But basically, the idea is that, like, this stuff I can target with an attack. This stuff has an empty target, and I can't do anything with it. Um, But... Uh, the other thing that I added to kind of combat the color blindness, because even if you have trouble with the contrast, which it, it actually looks like you don't really most of the time because of the way that the, the black outlines and the corners overlap. So there's like monochromatic might be a little bit hard, but uh, for the most part, it's, it's, it's viewable. But the other, the other part to this is the animation. And this is something that I've been working on too, because when you select a, an enemy that, for example, can't uh, you can't do anything? You can't move or attack, right? This is an enemy unit, but it shows its its strategy. And this is something we're messing with too. This may not be final. Um, these squares don't move though. And then when you click on an enemy that that where you can move, the the squares are a little animated and they pulse back and forth. Uh, so things like that. Even if you can't quite see the distinction, you can tell. Uh, you know, kind of like where you can interact with. Now, there's there's a whole discussion that we're going on. I'm not going to go into detail on this UI because green and orange may not be the right colors for the enemies. We may want to use some sort of gray or muted color or something like that. But um, I thought this this tool was cool. I'm going to link it down in the description. You can use it for your game and, uh, you know, see if it's useful for you. Uh, it's definitely been useful for me. And every time I make a new UI, I've been going back in here and uh, and messing with it. But that's all I got for you today. I want to say thank you to these lovely people over here. I pointed the wrong way. I I don't usually use this camera. My camera's having issues at the moment. But uh, thank you. Thank you for being on, on this list. Uh, you guys are awesome. And uh, if you want your name on that list, uh, you can head over to patreon.com slash gamedevunderground. And uh, either way, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.